But I think we should do a test and throw Newt off the roof and see if he gets a concussion. Yeah, you know, maybe or, like, we're I over. Think it's, I, maybe I we're think overreacting. Maybe yeah. it's more accurate than you think. Newt, I think we're gonna so. throw you off the roof. Yeah, we're gonna and see, see if you how get a you do. I, I, I hope I die. It's time to hack the movies with Tony and Newt and Crystal. Hey guys, are you excited to talk about Black Widow? Woo. I'm so excited. I can't wait. You know, I've been collecting all my thoughts and I can't wait to talk about Black Widow with you guys. And all three things are recording and we're not going to talk for <laughs> 20 something minutes and then realize Newt's mic isn't working and restart. To be fair, some people might have liked that more. <laughs> Yeah, so welcome to take two. Yeah, let's uh, Bla uh, the Black Widow review was going very well. It let's was. let's replicate that magic. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of Black <laughs> Widow, uh, Crystal, what a great Black Widow outfit because she wears you. white in the new movie, and it's definitely not a and Na NASA. NASA. Yeah. Oh, because in the movie, Black Widow goes to NASA. No, she goes to space. Kinda. No, she doesn't go to space. She goes she in the upper the atmosphere. Oh. Yeah, and uh, okay, guys. Our costume budget uh, took a cut. Mm -hmm. So when we said you guys could send us uh, copies of Dark Knight Rises and Transformers Revenge of the Fallen and Swamp Zombies 2, mm -hmm. and we would mail them back to you. I thought we'd get 10 at the most. And we've gotten a lot. Uh, so you guys need to start putting return shipping in there. <laughs> Uh, because we're running out of money pretty fast. Yeah. yeah. We had a and we weren't thing. able to afford a, a Black Widow costume. So we gave her uh, Tony's uh, NASA suit, so. Yes. It's only a little big. It's so little, please. Little big. And it's never been washed, so good luck with that. You didn't tell me that. Yeah. Anyway. That <laughs> so here we are talking about Black Widow, the latest Marvel movie. Again. And what did we say last time? I don't yeah. remember. <laughs> I like the Marvel movies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They know when to course correct when they start to get stagnant. The first time they did it was with Incredible Hulk right off the bat. Yeah. Right after Iron Man, they're like, ah, we can't do another one of these. Mm -hmm. uh, then after they did Avengers, they did Thor The Dark World where it's like, all right. That didn't work. Uh, no. I don't think we should do another alien invasion right after the last alien invasion. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so they pretty much know when to change things up. Avengers Age of Ultron, they realize... They realize people just want one story. Yeah. Not, not 20. Not yeah. one story plus 16 origins to future movies. I think Marvel, for me, I like the darkness of DC a lot. Marvel, to me, is just like a happy-go-lucky, fun family movie. Which is fine. Which is fine. Which it's, is fine. It's, it's just not my favorite type. But it's definitely different than Black Widow. Black yeah. Widow definitely has a different tone than Th that, this which feels I like, enjoyed. This feels tonally like Winter Soldier yeah. and yes, Civil War, which I, where it's a little bit more serious. Mixed with a Jason Bourne movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The the Marvel movies are McDonald's, man. They're just, they, you know the what Burger you're King. Getting. Oh, the Burger King, King. right? Because it exists in that universe. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. So does Hardee's, though. Yeah. Have you ever been to a Hardee's? I have yes. never been to a Hardee's. Justin really? and I went to a, we were yeah. guests at a, can, uh, anime convention or something in uh i don't even know somewhere somewhere in america yeah and we went to a hardy's and i was like oh let's see what this is all about because hardy's did ghostbusters 2 merchandise when the movie came out and uh hardy's wasn't very good and that's why i hate ghostbusters 2. <laughs> so it, all, it all comes full circle is there anywhere else we can go to hear your thoughts on ghostbusters 2. I think there's a video somewhere. Could you not really? eat when we're on camera, you <laughs> asshole? If anybody would like some goldfish crackers. I'm going to unplug your mic, you <laughs> <laughs> No, then we have to start all over again. <laughs> so anyway, uh, uh, I really like Marvel. Lately, they've realized, hey, let's tell smaller scale stories. Which you have to. After Endgame, yeah. after Endgame there's why nowhere to go. Like, no. Yeah. Maybe in like another 10 years, they can try to do a universe. Yeah, bring exploring. in Galactus. Yeah. That would be a worthy threat, yeah. you know? Well, even Galactus isn't even that big of a threat as Thanos is, no. really. Yeah. Thanos is probably... Like, in the original think... comic, Thanos just kind of throws Galactus away during the Infinity mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. <laughs> is there anyone bigger than Thanos? Um, probably the Your mom. Tri living tribunal. I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's always someone bigger. They just make someone bigger. Mm -hmm. Stan Lee was technically God in that universe. Yeah. So. <sighs> anyway, he's not in this one. I think they ran out of cameos. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, the director of this is Kate. Kate Shortland. No, Shortland. Kate Shortland. And uh, I went on a whole rant about this. 
<laughs> when we recorded it the first time. Uh, yeah, Kate Shortland, she she wrote The Slap, the UK version of The Slap, mm -hmm. which was re starring Melissa George, yeah. which was remade in 2015, also starring Melissa George. And all I know about that show is a commercial I saw for the American version. <laughs> so it's about a group of friends hanging out at a barbecue. One of their kids gets a little uppity, and some guy who's not his father comes over and just slaps him to discipline him. And then it because of that, all their inner secrets and and betrayals that they've been hiding from each other start to come up through mm. a series of fights they have over the kid getting slapped. And I laughed for a good 20 minutes when I saw Zachary Quinto slap a kid in the preview. When adults talk to you, you listen to what they're saying, yeah? Why are you swinging the bat at Rocco like that? Yeah. Should have done the Vulcan uh, nerve pin. He should have done yeah. the Vulcan nerve pin. So you, and as you said in the previous version that we recorded that we can't use because Tony messed it up, that he <laughs> laughed for 20 minutes about the commercial, but yeah. it didn't impress him enough to watch the show. Yeah. yeah, so I've never seen anything this director's written or yeah. directed. Well, hasn't really done anything. It hasn't, she hasn't the really. Black Widow. <laughs> besides this, besides this. I mean, she definitely did stuff that I heard of. I just haven't watched them yeah. personally. But the writer of this, which we actually didn't mention before, mm -hmm. is Eric Pearson, who wrote Thor Ragnarok, Agent Carter, Godzilla vs. Kong. Mm. So the writer has done multiple things. Yeah, and uh, it, this movie, not only did it came, come out late because of COVID, and mm. not only did they green light it after they killed off the character. Yeah. Uh, we, we were talking about how like this this should have came out like bef way before Captain Marvel. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, David Hayter was actually, he wrote the script and was set to direct it in 2004, but Lionsgate still had the character rights, so mm -hmm. couldn't do anything. Yeah. So I'm curious what kind of movie it would have been. Yeah. In 2004, would have been like the Electra movie, probably. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, no, if this Terrence movie- Terrence Stamp is stick in that one. If, if this movie had come out mm -hmm. before Captain Marvel, like there'd be a lot less angry internet nerds. Yeah. Cause this movie's, yeah. this movie's really good. Yeah. And like if Captain Marvel came out after this, it would have been like, all right, well that one sucks, but the other one was okay. It's kind of like yeah. Incredible Hulk yeah. kind of sucked, but everyone liked Iron Man. Mm -hmm. But the and fact that they funny. went with Captain Marvel first instead of this was so Because I, I said to Crystal earlier last week, I was like, I don't really feel like watching this movie. I'm kind of done with Marvel now. I haven't watched any of the shows. I said, why don't you do it with Tony? But then we came in today and we watched it. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. But And it's not a it's not a woke movie. It's not, no. a, it's not Wonder Woman 1984. <gasps> yeah. But F is for female <laughs> is how Fandango felt the need to market it when everyone no. knows. No. F is for family, yes. <laughs> as Dom said. Uh, I can't, that's why I really didn't want to watch this because I thought it was going to be a very forced female movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Black Widow to me and all the other Avenger well, movies. Well, after that end weak. game scene, I can see how you thought that God. after the goddamn I end game that. scene. Yes. Where everyone, yes. Every, so all the females, like, ooh. Giant battlefield, like size of a planet, and all the women just so happen to be in the same place at the that. same time. Stop it, Spider -Man. stop yeah. forcing it, stop forcing it. So that's what I thought this was gonna be. Could somebody like digitally redo that scene, but have like digitally add a kitchen to the background, and that's what? <laughs> Fucking <laughs> your head into the counter. Twitter so at still Newt Wallen. You can send all your complaints about that joke there. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> They were protecting I the I think kitchen. you're just mad because you don't even know how to cook or boil I water. Did you see the Wendy's thing that happened a few months back? No. What? Oh, no. Wendy's was trying to encourage, it was a, I think it was a British Wendy's Twitter mm -hmm. account. They were trying to encourage like more female chefs in the workplace. Oh no. What do you think their Twitter said? Oh, no. Women belong in the kitchen. No, no that's no. real. No. And I think no. that I think the sub I think they stop. did it on purpose to get people's attention. Mm -hmm. And then they put all their feminist stuff in the subsequent yeah. tweets, but people only saw that first. <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck? I want to have for hack the movies hashtag women be shopping, and it's just it's a good thing. It's like women here, you know, on film and stuff. But we we do it completely wrong. Women be wrong. shopping. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Shopping for new costumes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We couldn't afford a costume. I had to send out sixteen <laughs> copies of Dark Knight watching, Rises. They're like, well, we don't have a Black Widow costume. So we, we have this. We got a space <laughs> suit. A suit. You went to go heart. get something from your car, and I was like, "Welcome back, space girl." Like, <laughs> <laughs> that Simpsons episode. So yeah, uh, <sighs> I'm glad Black Widow finally has her own movie, and we get a little bit of an origin. Mm -hmm. I was 
talking yes. to you during the movie because you had so many questions. You forgot about Black Widow, yeah. and I had yeah. to explain to you there was a former. I think he's still involved with Marvel. Yeah, shove those right in your fat fucking face, you <laughs> asshole. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah, do it right on the mic. Right yes, on the please. mic. We're in ASMR. ASMR, yes! Mm -hmm. All right, back up from the mic. Anyway, so Ike Perlmutter was a producer at, like, Marvel or Disney or whatever, and he, like, mm -hmm. didn't want a Black Widow movie. He didn't want a Black Panther movie. Uh, which is why I think they had to like shoehorn her backstory in like conversations mm -hmm. in the Avengers movie. I think that's why Black Black Panther maybe wasn't even gonna get his own movie, yeah. but he was gonna show up in Civil War, so they started shoehorning stuff in uh Age of Ultron yeah. and then they shoehorn him in the so yeah. I was just trying to remember all the little bits and pizzas pieces mm -hmm. that they put into the other movies. Like I know she says some things during Iron Man 2 yeah. and stuff like that. I'm trying to also remember where she was after Civil War. Yeah. Because this happens after Civil War. I'm trying to figure out, okay, I know everything that somewhat. Now let me try and remember backwards, but not forward. I didn't it's remember. a weird middle. I didn't remember she had short blonde hair at any point. In Infinity guess. War. Uh, yeah. 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 So I was trying um, to remember all that. And then I'm also trying to remember her backstory with Hawkeye. And I'm just like, okay, I remember hit, I know he, she got out because like, I'm just trying to put yeah. it together. Dude, this movie was supposed oh. to come out like two years ago. And as we kept saying, I keep forgetting this movie even existed until we watched it. Yeah. But when people are like, hey, when's uh, people on Twitter are like, hey, at Marvel Studios, when's Black Widow dropping? And they kept repeat, they kept sending the code. If you watch, Infinity Wars uh, of the moment that she dies in the movie, that timestamp, and I was like, "That's pretty smart." Wow. But yeah, let's let's get into the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, starts off with Baby Mila Jovovich. Yeah. Playing young Natasha. <laughs> Who I hold on, hold on. Newt's dying. <coughs> you said you hope I choke, and I am choking now. So hurry up and drink alcohol. <clears throat> no, this isn't alcohol. Okay. So baby Mila Jovovich begins the movie as young Natasha. I had no, I thought the younger one was Natasha because I didn't even realize it because I. Yeah. The thing is like, <sighs> fine actress, I guess. I, I don't really have an yeah. opinion. No. Uh, but she looks so much like both her parents. Yeah. She looks like Paul W.S. Anderson and Mila Jovovich just mm -hmm. in a fly type teleporter. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the whole time I'm like, I, this is a, this was a terrible choice because they look mm -hmm. nothing like Scarlett Johansson, yeah. and they look too much like another actress yeah. that I know very well from other things. Uh, it's driving me. It's kind of like a oh, what was a, another recent bad casting? Um, Jessica Chastain is the older girl in the It sequel. Oh yeah, she looks nothing oh. like uh -uh. the younger actress. No. no, Jessica Chastain. I like Jessica She's Chastain, beautiful. but she has more of like a kind of like not in a bad way, but like very sharp like skeletal features yeah. on her oh, face. Yeah. And the younger actress didn't, and that's not just something you grow into. She, that that girl played a the younger version of Amy Adams in Sharp Objects, the HBO Max uh, series. Oh, okay. I didn't see. It. Yeah. I heard it was really good. Eh, it was all right. Yeah. It went for, it went for Southern Gothic, and it kind of loses itself. Oh, really? Because yeah. they marketed it sort of like the first season of True Detective, and it was not yeah. that at all. Yeah. But yeah, no. So, so Baby Miljovic is there, and I'm like. That's not that's not Scarlet. No. no. Yeah. Anyway, but I mean, and she they're does trying a good job. to blend she in does. with Americans because they're they're Russian sleeper agents, basically. Yeah. And Yet she the, meets her little sister. Yeah. Uh, and they're looking at fireflies together. And then mm -hmm. Rachel Wise comes out. Check out our mummy review. Uh, and she's like the mom. Yeah. And then David oh. Harbour comes home and he's like the dad. Mm -hmm. But like you said, they're all secret agents. Yeah. And I like yeah. how he's just like, I got the thing we needed from that lab. We're mm -hmm. out of here. Yeah. Uh, and then they, you know, because it turns out they're Russian. Yeah. And they have to escape the authorities. I said they were Russian. I was like, N do you mean the country or like the action? Yeah. It was funnier the first time. It we was did definitely funnier the first things. time. It was and funnier the first time we did it. What if we just sat here quietly for the next twenty minutes and then you just <laughs> added the, the 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 audio that did work? You know. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Uh, I like mm. when they're driving away. They drive past all the product placement, yep. Burger King, Hardee's. <gasps> Hardee's. And we talked about Burger King mm -hmm. the first oh, time. Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah. We'll, I'll repeat this story again. Um, the funny thing is that uh, Iron Man is like, I want an American cheeseburger. When he expects, they give him Burger King. And uh, it's a product placement in the movie. Yeah. When Robert Downey Jr. was like hardcore into drugs, he ate a Burger King burger and realized he needed help. And that's how he got clean because of how gross Burger King was. <laughs> so I just think it's funny that it's in, uh, you know, yeah. 
And uh, I talked about how there's a deleted scene. We were driving it. by a oh. church the other day, and they had a Samuel Clemens quote on their thing, and I was like, he was, he was an atheist. Like, are we? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Mark uh, Twain's real name was Samuel yeah. Clemens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm just, I was saying I, it to you. You read far more. You're very smart. You're very She smart. reads far more than me. She bought I like do. 10 I Stephen bought King actual books. I bought actually 13 Stephen King books and then a couple of other books as well at VHS Fest. I never learned how to read. VHS Fest? Yeah. I, um. Oh, another read... episode. And the other uh, oh, thing yeah. you said about VHS Fest. Thanks so, for coming out to VHS go. Fest. If you came out to VHS <laughs> Fest, it was nice meeting all of yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you like Stephen King books? I do. I only read like two of them. Uses too much N word for me, but if that's your thing, that's fine. So let's get back oh to Black my Widow. God. He means he means Newt. So they're on the run. Mm -hmm. uh, they play Bye Bye Miss American Pie. Yes, which, on a cassette tape. Which is 1995, which is my favorite song from elementary school. Yes, and, and we mentioned it in a up upcoming an up episode. Upcoming episode. Mm -hmm. Because someone made a joke about it in the movie we watched, and the person we did the episode with didn't realize how dark of a joke it yeah. was. Yeah, <laughs> dark. Uh, I yes. like so I like the, good. I, do you know the Weird Al version of the song yeah. about Phantom Menace? It's pretty good. I do like. I How like much you get paid for that piece of shit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, so they get to like a little plane and they're on the run from Shield, which doesn't make sense because they weren't called you're Shield too late. yet. You're too late to that criticism. Other people have beaten you to it. It like Agent Carter called it Shield, and yes, in Iron Man, they're like we're still working on the name, and you have the idea that it's like a new thing, but then it's not. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's stupid. Anyway, uh, we find out David Harbor is a super soldier. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then in the previous version, I mentioned like it was a big deal when Captain America was the only super soldier, mm -hmm. and no one could replicate it, which is how you got the Hulk and Abomination. Yeah. yeah. But now in this universe, it's like okay, the Russians had their own. And then there was the Winter Soldier and then the other Winter mm -hmm. Soldiers. And then yep. the Falcon and Winter Soldier show says that there was an older guy. That's in the comic. Yeah. That's from Truth. Yeah. 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 Right. And it's like, okay, well, Captain America is starting to seem like less of a big deal now. That when I first heard about that Truth book, I was like, that's super fucked up. But it also kind of works with our terrible American history. You know? <laughs> well, there we go. There we go. Newt. No, like, oh, yeah. Okay. You've when heard... you're running for office, Newt. Okay. We get it. I can't even run to the bathroom here. What are you talking about? <laughs> so Newt will be at the next DNC. You can say hi to him there. <laughs> He's going to have a merch table. Oh, I thought you told me DNR. <laughs> anyway. Let's do not resuscitate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're able to escape, and I like that David Harbour's hanging on the wing of the plane yeah. the whole yeah. time. Uh, they meet Ray Winestone, who's mm -hmm. the head of this Red Room organization, yeah. and uh, they send the girls back to the Red Room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's that part where, like, Natasha was going to, like, kill all of mm -hmm. them. And I liked that. They're yeah. like, you got to relax. Uh, they take the mom away. He fucks off. And then we get the opening title sequence. Yes. Which is a cliche now. I enjoyed it because I think it set the tone. Yeah. No, I tone wasn't... Was, like, I, I wasn't Every thinking the ways you were thinking. Everything that happened in the montage I liked. Yeah. It's the fact that they took a Nirvana song, it made it slow and dreary and... I think it worked for the movie. Yeah, yeah I, I wasn't just... thinking every other movie trailer does this. Well, I was wasn't a trailer. Like, or uh, any any, yeah. any movie, we, any we whatever talked about the, the one, it. The one that kind of kick-started the trend, actually, I didn't think about it. Last House on the Left might have done it first. They Their did it trailer first. did yeah. uh, Sweet Child of Mine, mm -hmm. but slow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's not a bad cover, but then, like, uh, Social, Social Network, Network did Creep did by Creep. Radiohead, yeah. And then Terminator Genesis did one of them. Mm -hmm. Ghost of the Shell did yeah. that all Well, that was a real it. song, though. That was the real version oh, of it. Oh, that was? Yeah. I thought they slowed that version down. They for slowed Ghost it down. The okay. Yeah. Um, I'm and we talked about the Arl Knots. They did a video called Every Hollywood Trailer, mm -hmm. and they did all the cliches, but they did Spin Me Right Round as yeah. the slow yeah. That's really song. Cool. Like Dead or Alive, right? Huh? And it's not right round like ground round. Not right no, round like ground right. round, baby no. right round. I, I, I don't understand how you know so many weird references and lyrics to songs, but other songs you can't get right to say your life. I, I think my brain is broken. It, Probably. It yeah. is broken. Uh, like a ground round. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> From eating at ground round. So, uh, do you remember Ground Round? What? Do you remember the the restaurant Ground Round? No. 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 Uh, we talked about it in that. Episode. Yeah, we talked about it in Twister. Yeah. Anyway, uh, before before the montage, the little girl has a My Little Pony toy, mm -hmm. and famous internet pervert slash the biggest fan of cuties let me know on his Twitter, uh, Vito Vito, check out Vito um, if you want to be on the list. 
Uh, he does, <laughs> he you tweeted, want the government knowing what you're doing. He tweeted that uh, she had the wrong My Little Pony. That is a current modern My Little Pony, not one that would have been there in the 90s. And he knows that because he knows a lot about children's entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, and he also knew Wonder Woman 84 that they had the wrong video, the wrong arcade cabinets mm -hmm. for the time because he knows a lot about video games because they're for children. Video games are for children, yeah. right? And so it's weird that he knows that, but he felt about the need, the, to, about he the felt the need to let the internet know that he knew it was the wrong My Little Pony when he could have just said fucking nothing because it didn't matter. <laughs> Hashtag not my My Little Pony. Hashtag yeah. not my My Little Pony. <laughs> you guys are Say at Vito, uh -huh. I agree. Yeah. Hashtag not my <laughs> My Little Pony. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so after the uh, intro, which is really good, really good, yeah, really we, cool. we see it's how they like fake family pictures, mm -hmm. and fake stuff. family photos. You see the way they're trained, but they also do a lot of ballet. It's yeah. I love the it's, fact that they showed a lot of old school Christmas cartoons mm -hmm. because they're those are what I remember. I love them every year. I yeah. rewatch them. They're like because they're probably public domain ones. They are. Yeah, they are public domain <laughs> and they're fantastic. Not mm. that I mean, I'm sure Disney could get them if they really wanted. But it was yeah. they nice, got James Bond later in the yeah, movie. Yeah, it's a nice bit of visual storytelling though mm -hmm. because it it's filling in a lot of the gaps of what you're gonna need later on. But done because Marvel movies usually don't have opening title sequences. No, so you're supposed to like um, some kind of like union rule, mm. director's guild or something. You're supposed to have two, like a beginning sequence and then mm. the actual credit. You're yeah. supposed to have two credit sequences. Yes. And movies get around that. A lot of the Marvel movies get around it by putting the opening credit sequence at the end. So you get two credit sequences Or in at an the action end. scene because you have like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, 2 has it with that fight with the big... Lovecraft monster. Oh yeah, even in the first yeah. one, yeah, some of them do have it, mm -hmm. but then some of them just. Oh yeah, save the first them. one is to come and come and get your love. Yeah, yeah. but some hey. of them save it for the end. Oh, not that's not just Marvel too. Yeah. A lot of movies do that. But uh, I, I miss the art of the cool opening title sequence. Yeah. Like you know, even Army of the Dead didn't love the movie. Great opening title oh, sequence. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, you know, he did um, Watchmen as well. Uh, one of my favorites is the remake of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, set to Immigrant Song uh, by yeah. uh, Karen I still O. still haven't seen that it. That was a really good The opening. Shrek 3 song? Yes. I only call it the Shrek yeah. 3 song. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so afterwards we find out Thunderbolt Ross. Yeah. Thunderbolt Ross. Yeah. Not Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Thunder, Thunderballs. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Thunderballs. We have Thunderball over yeah. there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Thunderball Ross. Uh, he's still on the hunt. For the Avengers, who... This takes place post-Civil War. Post-Civil War. And I like this whole fake out. It's been done to death, but unlike... It, it's it's an older cliche, mm -hmm. so it checks out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's like, all right, we got her. She's in this location, and you see her in the bathroom, and they kick the door open, and oh, turns out she was on a boat really far away. It reminded me a little bit... Yeah, it's been done a million times, but it was cut like the Silence of the Lambs one. Yes. Where they're in the wrong place. I was like, oh, it was very we have well a review done for that. Yeah. We have a review for Silence of the Lambs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah, so that was pretty cool. Uh, she's like in Norway, mm -hmm. and uh, we cut after that. We cut to her sister, uh, Florence Pugh, Pew Pew. who is in Morocco. Yes, yes. Uh, she's there to assassinate someone who mm -hmm. I think is a former widow. Yeah. Uh, she kills her, but the for the oh, widow her, like her throws... husband died. Huh? Her husband oh, died. Yes, yes. It was very sad. <laughs> All of them apparently had uh, husbands as they yeah. were um, babies. Yeah. Depends that's, on what part that's, of the country I guess you're how in. that happens. Yeah. Anyway, she uh she throws red mist on her mm -hmm. and it like chemically gets rid of the brain like whatever they use to control yeah. them is removed. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's like, Oh no, I killed my friend, and then she rips out her chip and she's like, I am a good guy now and escapes. Then yeah. we see uh, Natasha is living in an R V and there's mm -hmm. some guy. Yes. He's kind Mason. of like, yeah, he's kind of like her Q almost. Yeah, but he's like friend zoned, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, totally friend zoned. Yeah, like I think he's cute and he has a nice British accent. Yeah, it seemed like, like they were into each other, but she's still holding out. She's like, I need that big green Hulk to come back. <laughs> I wanted to do a skit back in the day where Crystal played back Black Widow and I was Bruce Banner, mm -hmm. and things are about to happen, and then it cuts to outside the room and I just run out covered in blood. I'm like, <laughs> it happened again. <laughs> Don't make me mad. You wouldn't like me when I'm mad. <laughs> it's angry. Oh, is it? How the fuck do you not know that? Is it? Yeah. I don't, know. don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. So he, yeah, you're right. He's like her cue. He gives her like a generator, yeah. but then like it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. So, oh, we forgot to mention. 
Taskmaster's in this. Oh yes. yeah. Well, a ver- mm, kind you, of. Well, a Taskmaster, and you know the character Taskmaster you said is before, in this movie. You said before that with Marvel movies, you know what you're getting, mm-hmm. and I knew we were getting a guy named Tony from the Bronx when they showed Taskmaster. I thought they were getting. And Jenny, I'm like, Jenny as an Antonio Bronx. myself, that's an Antonio. If I ever saw one, I couldn't relate to. I couldn't wait to see what actor they got to play him later in the movie because it was a mystery, and I'm like, well, it's got to be. Someone very important and very Italian. I hope it's Antonio Banderas because he was going to be in that X Men movie yeah, and then they yep. cut it out. He's so. supposed to be Mr. Sinister, right? Mr. Sinister. And then I think they redid it as one of the other characters' dads and then they didn't either. Uh, I want to do Tony from the Block now. I want. Tony from the Block? <laughs> yeah, like he used to have a little, now he's got a lot. Yeah. So I was very excited to see Taskmaster. So Taskmaster is. I'm thinking about Tony, like. Working as kind of like a J Lo kind of. Could looking. we get you to wear that outfit she wore to the Oscars the one year, like that green yes. one? Oh, yeah. anyway, uh, Rolo, yeah. So Taskmaster, if you I know from the comics, Taskmaster, <laughs> if you know from the comics, he uh, can imitate Any the moves of style. his enemies, and he's used to train other mercenaries on yes. how to take down like mm-hmm. superheroes and stuff. Yeah. And he fights other Avengers, and then runs away, and then fights Avengers, and runs yep. away. And uh, in the beginning of this, he's watching uh, Black Panther fighting Hawkeye, learning all their moves, mm-hmm. uh, and they send him out. He's just watching Civil uh, yeah. Civil War on Blu-ray. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, just watching Civil. Oh no, on Disney Plus. Disney oh, Plus. Disney Plus. He has a Disney Plus account. So well, no, this is this movie takes place in two thousand. Oh, you're right. So he wouldn't have it. Yeah, so is, or it's like, is it, uh, yeah, Blu ray was out then. Yeah, Blu ray was out in 2016. Again, as we talked about yesterday at the convention. (laughs) What? I have to ask if Blu ray was out in 2016. I'm trying to look back at things. Yeah. We have Blu rays from before 2016 somewhere. It wasn't that long ago. Tony, I'm very old and very tired. Your brain is going. That's bad. Anyway, because I want more gold. Fish crackers, but I choked on one of them. So, <laughs> so they sent Taskmaster out to get the mm-hmm. vial, which Florence, uh, Elena, pew, Elena, Yelena, 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 Florence Pew, uh, mm-hmm. from Midsummer. Yeah, uh, not, hereditary. Sent, huh? <laughs> not, not hereditary. Not hereditary. She sent the vials to Natasha. Natasha mm-hmm. has them. So Taskmaster attacks Natasha on a bridge. It reminded me of sort of like Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade, where he's like, "You brought the book back to me. I sent it to you for a reason, so it wouldn't fall into their hands." You know. Yeah. So Taskmaster is uh, very. I, it was weird how it had to be activated by a, like a USB. Like they just put a USB in the back of the helmet and yeah, it was a little activated. Weird. Again, that's Robot. not what I'm used to with Taskmaster, but at least I was comfortable knowing that it was a cool guy named Tony Super underneath cool that mask. Super cool guy under that mask. Uh, so Taskmaster's fighting her. And so when pre- they input that thing, is that like, is it anywhere in like a VR headset and he can like see it that way? No, no, he did have like one of those holographic yeah. things like Iron Man did. Yeah. Uh, but I like the fight scene. Uh, I think we talked like the fight scenes in this feel like Winter Soldier and Civil mm-hmm. War, where they're a little yeah. more gritty, hand to hand. People get no, thrown into stuff, and yeah. it feels no, more, no. What did you no say? No three hundred and sixty. No yeah. three hundred and sixty camera yeah. angles, which I'm fine with, and Zack Snyder is fine with. And Newt thinks everything Zack Snyder does is great, so he's not allowed to complain. I didn't like the the. Age of Ultron, when he tried to do that thing where all the super Justice League stop and then oh. go again, Newt. and I didn't like, I didn't like, eighty percent of Army of the Dead. Newt, it's cool. I almost watched the <laughs> Guardians of Gaul a couple nights ago. Oh, are we gonna do Army of Thieves, the prequel? Yeah, you sent me the link to that. He's not uh, directing it, but they already, they're already shooting it. I'm I like, thought it was fuck? supposed to be animated. I said to you, I didn't know that. It no, was I think be there's live also an animated prequel oh. coming out and a oh, series. Man, they they are putting all their fucking chips I in. I think they would have tried a little harder yeah. in the first movie. Anyway, or they tried too hard. Yeah. Anyway, so the fight scene's pretty good. She gets mm-hmm. away with the vials, though. She does, like, the little switch where she leaves the box but yeah. takes them with her. This movie has so many switches. Yes. Uh, and then she goes to Budapest. 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 Don't say Budapest. Yes. Budapest. Reunites with her sister, and they have another hand-to-hand Buda- gritty fight Which is fantastic. Scene. I really love... Budapest. Joe Budapest. Oh, my God. <laughs> I really like the fight. I really do. It yeah. was... Remember when Joe but... Pesci rapped? Oh yes, I did. Anyway, we're trying to talk about Black Widow. God damn it. <laughs> We're Marvel shills now. Oh, that's right. We love Black Widow. <laughs> no, yeah, I like I like the fight scene with them because, and like you said in the previous version, every <laughs> fight like kind of has a meaning. Yeah, uh, the, like, the, there's a purpose to yeah, every fight, it's not, not just forced. It's not. Yeah. yeah, the action set pieces actually move the story along and feel organic instead of just being like, "Well, we haven't had a fight scene in 11 minutes." Yeah. Again, like I said in the other one we shot, 
uh, Black Widow is this great Machiavellian story, and then they, well... No, we, Black Panther. Black Panther, what did I say? You said Black, Black, Black Widow. Black Widow, oh. Yeah. Uh, Black Panther has this great Machiavellian story, and you're invested in the characters, and then you have a CGI car chase fight scene. Yeah. Or you have the fight scene that takes place in the bar from Skyfall, for some reason. <laughs> and I'm just like, why? Just don't you trust your audience yeah. enough to yeah. let them no. enjoy a story, you no. know? Yeah. But this one is that they don't trust each other because they don't yeah. know Yeah, they what's don't know if on. one's still brainwashed. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they have a little truce. And I like how Natasha didn't know that, uh, oh, they do a Hawkeye reference. They, they show, do. Like, yeah. What yeah. kind of bullets are those? Those aren't bullets. Yeah. Those are arrows. Uh, I like how... Black Widow had no idea the Red Room still existed. Mm -hmm. And she's yes. like, no, I killed the guy in charge. Like, did you confirm the kill? And she's like, mm, I didn't There know. was nobody no. left. Yeah. yeah, and then Damn. we find out there was a daughter, but before that, more widows show up. Yeah. So there's a fun chase scene on the rooftops. Mm -hmm. Black Widow falls and hits every single piece of metal on the way down. <laughs> and instead of quitting being Batman for eight years, she just gets up. Yeah. <laughs> She's, she's like, oh, fine. Ooh, I hit that railing and that railing, but I'm fine. Yeah, because apparently That's... she's a superhuman. But her her body does like the thing when the dude hits the propeller in Titanic. It kind of whips over <laughs> yeah. itself. No yeah. concussion, no broken bones. No, she there just... are no concussions in this universe. Because, like, by the way, her Jeep, when Taskmaster attacked her, hit her mm -hmm. with a rocket. Yeah. There have been yeah. shrapnel, so, but that's that's been that's, since that's the first like, Iron Man movie. I it's think just concussions don't exist in nope. this universe. Yeah, no. But I think we should do a test and throw Newt off the roof and see if he gets a concussion. Yeah, you know, maybe or, like, we're I over, think it's, I, maybe I we're think overreacting. Maybe yeah. it's more accurate than you think. Newt, I think we're gonna so. throw you off the roof. Yeah, we're gonna and see, see if you how you do. I, I I hope I die. Oh, not because of this movie. Just every day, I say, I hope I die. <laughs> well, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna go to the roof. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I'll tape down your hair. Yes. Because you got yes. toupee. You don't want yeah. that toupee. No, you don't want my toupee to go anywhere. <sighs> Apparently, I wear a toupee. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you think I'm like? So don't you think like if I was gonna get a hairpiece, I would choose not to look like this? I would yeah. Hope so. You know, like I think about it sometimes when people say things, and I was like, if I, like, if it was a choice. Yeah, like if it was a choice, <laughs> I would look. Better than I do because I, I am an. Why would you pick a toupee that shows you're clearly receding? Yeah, that's a weird yeah, choice. Exactly. Yeah, that's kind of a shitty toupee. So, well, it's what I could afford working in Hack the Movies video. Oh, right, stuff. because we keep mailing copies yeah. of Transformers too. He can't get a better toupee, yeah. and she can't get a Black Widow outfit. Ryan came and took my pompadour and said, "Pompadours are for closers." Like, <laughs> so remember to include uh, include return shipping in Help all packages unless you already mailed it. That's fine. We but can't we, going forward. We can't have another boss baby episode that we're gonna continue to cut the funding. So Newt needs a better two pay. Yeah. Okay? He hasn't gone mm -hmm. on a date in a long I need time. A, I need a three pay. <laughs> three pay. So where were we? Oh yeah. Uh the bad guy makes the widow kill herself. Not yeah. the black widow. Her the other fucking one. leg is all yeah. twisted Her leg is the like other way. Yeah. She looks like she had an actual yeah. like, she injury looks like from she falling. Fell. <laughs> and she didn't want to die. She's oh, like, I don't want to do this. And it's like, yeah, the Ray Winston. Uh, Win Winstone. Winstone. I think it's Winstone. Whatever. The guy <laughs> from Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. That movie sucks. Yes, it did. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so he makes her do it. Oh, and then so. Taskmaster shows up in a little tank. And just starts fucking shit up. It was yes. awesome. We're watching the movie and it's the action scenes happening. And this tank comes out of nowhere and I'm sitting next to Tony and he's like, oh shit. Like, <laughs> and then just Taskmaster has no regard for human life and is no. just smashing cars Everything. that are going down the thing, you know. Knocks them down the, the steps in their van or yeah. jeep into the, the subway. And they just, <laughs> and again, they just get out because... It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. One of them is bleeding. And I like yeah. they use a blood trail to like trick him like to go deer. into the, to the sewer when mm -hmm. they're in the roof of the subway that... Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. uh, and another reference to Hawkeye. There are yes. reasons they're building up to Hawkeye yeah. other than he's getting his own show. What was that movie called? Was it Hunting of a Sacred Deer? Did you ever see Killing that? of a Sacred Killing Deer? Killing of a Sacred I haven't Deer. Seen it. And in the trailer, it was all about following the blood, tra the blood trail to the deer and stuff. That movie's fucked up. I've never even it. heard Check of it. Check it out. Oh. But yeah, so they're hiding up there. And mm. she's like, yeah, we hid here for like two weeks. And they're playing uh, tic tac toe up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of the. the Justice League Unlimited episode, why Batman knows all the words to that song, because he was based, he was on stakeout protecting, like, Ricky Martin, I think they were making a thing, <laughs> from the Penguin, so he knows all the words to this, like, song, and it's one of my favorite episodes, there was, uh, he, 
uh, Cersei, I think Turns it was. Wonder Woman into a pig. Yeah. Wonder Woman into a pig. That's a good one. And she goes, I'll turn her back, but I want something that you've worked very hard to guard and, you know, you'll never show anybody. And basically he has to sing Am I Blue, which is this old <laughs> crooner song in front of everybody. And it makes, like, Wonder Woman cry and stuff. Like, I love that episode. <laughs> That's a great It episode. has Zatanna in it, and Zatanna's one of my favorite Wanna characters. Wannabeast is in it. Who's your spirit animal? My because you like to make you like to take two things and combine them. I was yes, thinking about getting know. a Buona Beast tattoo. <laughs> oh Jesus. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, so after that whole thing, which we call it, uh her sister makes fun of Black Widow's pose. It. This thing that you do when you whip your hair when you're fighting with the arm and the hair and you do like a fighting pose. I love it. She says like, you're a total you poser. Do, you throw your she does back? the whole thing, she's like, you threw your hair back and she's like, You're doing it you're doing it like people are watching you, like that whole yeah. thing. And she's like, You're a total poser. And she's like, Well, I'm trying to be like more heroic to mm. make up for my past. And yeah. I like how yeah. she's like, We're both trained killers, but you know, little girls don't look up to me. So yeah. there's some yeah. resentment there. But I and like this movie I didn't mean to cut you off again. Um the there's a lot of pithy banter in Marvel movies that pisses yeah. me off because as much as like Guardians of the Galaxy is funny, the fact that all of those people fucking died and then dance off bro happened, like that kind of undercuts the severity of the situation. I really wanted the ending of that movie to be him dancing mm -hmm. and then Ronin like didn't know what dance was yeah. and he's so moved by it that he finds like a reason to like love mm -hmm. he's like what is this dancing I Do never you think knew how to express myself if that, I'm like that would have been a great ending and instead they just they shot him with if that went laser. if that went sideways and the Guardians of the Galaxy were killed would it become like a galactic version of fucking um Footloose like dance is no longer <laughs> welcome in that solar system you know yeah did you ever see the Footloose remake? Do you know there was a Footloose remake? I didn't. Know yeah, that. from the guy who made uh, Hustle and Flow. I'm good. I don't yeah, know they. Yeah. Um, I saw the trailer because I was in that play. Yeah, I did the. Uh, you did plays? Yeah, in grade school. I had no oh, idea. I got in trouble for this one. Holy shit! Uh, you know Christopher Penn's character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He played Willard. I was yeah. Willard in the play. They they spent uh, like a month teaching me how to do a dance for the Let's Hear It for the Boy song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the night of, I just did whatever the fuck I wanted. I didn't do their dance at all. So they screamed at me. Uh, and then I think I took my shirt off during my song number. And I went to a Catholic school and the teachers yelled at my mom. They're like, the priests were very upset. And this was when certain news stories were breaking. And my mom's like, I'm sure they're fine. They're very upset. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, but the, very, um, in the uh, the play, yeah. and I think the movie, they race tractors, and then I saw the preview for the remake, and they're racing school buses, and I'm like, what? What? And then I didn't see the movie because who gives a fuck? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I, yeah uh, but I fucking loved uh, Black Snake Moan that he made. I think that's my. Oh, that's favorite. a good one. I think that's all my favorite of all. That's a good movies. one. I have yeah. that movie. Uh, yeah, they're so very self-aware in this movie, which I really like because yeah. uh, Yelena also says, uh, "God in uh, the God in space doesn't need to take ibuprofen after yeah. a fight." And oh, yeah, I love that line. That's right. They mention um, it's like, "Why didn't they come for them?" And it's like, "Well, uh, you had the Avengers. Yeah. Like, if the yeah, Red Room like, made after you, you, we'd be a little the, fucked." Yeah, if the Red yeah. Room kills you, then fucking the Hulk is gonna show up, <laughs> and we don't need that kind of heat. Yeah, on Yeah, we us, don't need know? that kind of heat. <laughs> Which I think is a good way to explain away why they didn't get more involved. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also like they, you know, they they sit down, they're like talking about their past, mm -hmm. and um, so Natasha was like psychologically manipulated. Yeah. Yes. And like groomed, much like I groom. Your toupee. Yes. Uh, yeah, and then the other one, Florence, later in life, they discover this new way to control them, yeah. which is that chemical reaction, yeah. which the antidote can, like, mm -hmm. remove. Uh, and she's like, yeah, I had no control over anything. And yeah. I was, like, conscience for most of it, and I just haven't been able to make any decisions and yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. So they decide they're going to go kill that guy. Yeah. But and take she, down the red room. Her sister made up like a backstory for her. Like, oh yeah, just, I loved know, it. Yeah. Oh, you're a science teacher mm -hmm. in Ohio. Or but something I like, like that. that she has a vest. Yes, and it's the first I thing that she this. ever bought herself. Yeah, and this is like this run. And again, that's why I said about pithy banter. It can get so old so fast. But 
She What's her has name? great lines throughout Pugh, this entire Florence movie. Pugh. Florence Pugh, Florence and the Pugh Machine. Mm. Um, she she's like talking about how great it is with all the yeah. There's so yeah, many, so many, so many yeah. pockets. Yeah, and, so and I was like, in any other time, something like that could be handled very poorly. But the two, everyone in this movie has very good chemistry with each yeah. other, yeah. and it makes some of that stuff not as annoying. She yeah. has you know? this great attitude that I think mm-hmm. fits this character so goddamn well. Yeah. The, the only she's not is, over. Uh, she's not girl. Like she has this great balance. Mm-hmm. What you call it? Uh, Deadpool two kind of beat them to the pouch. Yeah. Joke. Yep. I did love when uh, Cable he like has the pouches. He's like I have lip balm in my utility. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, it's like, do you have everything in he's there? He's like, please never talk about uh, your wife like that while <laughs> sexually applying lip gloss or whatever, <laughs> or lip balm or whatever what it was. But I love that like these because they all in the comics like what's his face? Who, who did Rob the, Liefeld. He just liked to draw pouches, mm-hmm. but I like how like in universe like oh no I keep my. He lip created balm a character here. called the pouch. That's right. Really? Yeah, who was all made of pouches. That's amazing. Yeah. But the thing also with that, I, I was able to relate to that just being a female because you know how many times girls just don't have pockets. And if we get a dress that has pockets, we tell the entire world, like, oh, I like your dress. It has pockets. Like, well, it is so exciting. Why do, you, why do women keep buying stuff without pockets? Because they don't make clothes with pockets. Yeah, because My women kept buying underneath. stuff without pockets. Yeah, and they're like fucking idiots. Stop buying the stuff they that don't, don't have make, pockets. You know, like, oh, oh they make shorts underneath. and They, they didn't. make stuff with pockets. You probably just don't think they look nice My, enough. Michael, it didn't have pockets. No, it was a European cut, like from the office. Oh, yeah, yeah. where's it? Oh, these are also super tiny. There's nothing you can fit. Have you ever heard of the French well, tuck? Stop, but go, look harder. I'm just or gonna, I'm gonna just wear cargo pants for hey, now. Hey, on. hey, hey, it's 2021. Pockets. You don't have to adhere to gender roles. Buy men's pants, yeah. men's yeah. pockets, and stuff. That's fine. I wear men's pants. Yeah, I wear men's pants all the time. Mm-hmm. I wear baby cap pants. Justin doesn't wear men's no, pants. Man, he doesn't no. wear pants. Justin wears shorts he wears, he, he wears basketball shorts. I've never seen him jump or I handle ass- a basketball. <laughs> I assume that Justin is the best free throw shooter ever. We he's don't like, know. It remains to be seen. Yeah, he's like fucking John Stockton. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I do like that scene. A lot of There's a lot of character development mm-hmm. in this, which is nice. Yes. Yeah. It's not just witty banner on the way to the next action exactly. scene. No, it really shows that it's a lot of character development where I think it's it works. Again, it really and does. if this movie came out before her sacrifice in Infinity War, Ugh. this movie would have so much more weight to it. It, it really would have been would. nice to get one movie not where she's not just a tag mm-hmm. along. And actually can fight. Because I've always I liked the so character. Yeah. I've always liked I, Scarlet as her. Oh, I yeah. really liked I her. And I wanted her. Going I back to uh, Daredevil's my favorite Marvel character, and she was a big part of that, especially when Matt moved to like San Francisco. Yeah. At one point, and then she's a big part of like the Kevin Smith run and stuff like mm. that. Um, my yeah. uh, my little cousin, it's her favorite superhero. Really? Yeah, because she was also a redhead, so of course. Uh, but yeah, she, for years she's like, why can't she have her own movie? Why don't they why make toys of her? Yeah. It's like, why yeah. can't she just be a little bit more bad? I just feel like in all the Marvel movies, she's just the weakest Avenger. Yeah, but know. also she's like the character like. Girls like girls because actually like not, mm-hmm. not like when you uh not when you go to like a uh, Target and you see Rose Tico from Last Jedi toys on clearance or Captain oh, yeah. Marvel stuff on clearance like girls actually like Black yeah. Widow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But she also came out first. Like, yeah, you yeah. don't see many. I think Captain Marvel this version may predate her, but I have to look in. I don't know. Like Maybe the Miss Marvel right. character. Yeah. We, we were just talking about movies, though. Yeah. She was oh, in these okay. movies right. first. Yeah. Yeah. But Captain Marvel was also, it forced it. It forced oh, yeah. the female where, it, I'm sorry. Personally, if you're forcing a female character as girl power, I am now not like you're, I'm just not liking the character. That's why I hated, like we talked about before, I hated the scene where they all meet on the battlefield in Endgame, and it's like, oh, this giant planet-sized war, and we all just so happen to be in the same spot. And then you have something like The Boys Season 2, where oh, yeah. they <laughs> turn that whole girls make things happen thing, Which and it's hilarious. just them coming together being violent, fucking awesome warrior women and just destroying <laughs> that Nazi chick. I love that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, they have to find the Red Room. Mm-hmm. She thinks yes. she knows who knows where it is. Yeah. Uh, her her boyfriend guy uh, gives them a helicopter because he, he didn't have time to mm-hmm. get a jet. And I like that he's like, hey, uh, the Secretary of Defense is on my ass because yeah. of you guys. You need to relax. Uh, but they go to a Soviet-style prison mm-hmm. where their dad, Red Guardian, is. Yep. Yes. And, and he's, he's he's doing hand wrestling. Arm, arm, arm wrestling. wrestling. Arm hand wrestling. wrestling. What the hell is hand it's wrestling? It's like I pin your hand. <laughs> what Have is, you ever seen the movie? Tony, turn wrestle? your hat around because that means we're serious. I was just about to say, Yeah. I love Over the Top. Me too. 
the arm wrestling movie. Why the fuck did I just say hand wrestling? <laughs> like that's not even like you got thumb wrestling, you got arm wrestling. How do you? Hand that's wrestle? like that's like you spin me right round, baby, like a ground round. That was embarrassing. Anyway, I know a lot of things stupid. about I, a lot of things. And I like sometimes that. Sometimes I misspeak. So I like that he's been in prison for years. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's getting himself tattooed on his back. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's telling stories, and I like that he's just making up that he met Captain America. And fought him, yeah. yeah. And then one prisoner calls him on his bullshit. He's, he's like, like, what year was this? He's like, I don't know, 83, 84. He's like, Captain America was still frozen in ice at that point. <laughs> and he fucking snapped. breaks the dude's arm, and it's just hanging there. Looks like a soccer injury, you yeah. know? Uh, but they break him out by sending him a little toy of himself, mm-hmm. the Red Guardian toy, yeah. which is just, I like that it's the 1940s Captain America mm-hmm. suit, just yes. repainted. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, they, you know, they, it's kind of like in um, uh, Ghost Protocol, yeah. Mission Impossible Bros, uh, Ghost Protocol, where Simon Pegg is like opening all the prison mm-hmm. things to let him out. They mm-hmm. basically do yeah. that scene. Yeah. But this one is a super soldier, so almost as powerful as Tom Cruise. Yes, he's ju- he's just genetically enhanced super soldier. He's not Tom Cruise level. No, he doesn't <laughs> have the, he doesn't have the power of Zeno. No, no, uh, no. Zeno's the bad guy in that, right? Z- anyway, they uh, get into a big fight before we get sued. Yeah. <laughs> There's a big fight, and uh, this whole prison escape is great. Mm-hmm. It is. So they have yeah. the earpiece. So the toy had a little earpiece in it. Yeah. So they're in the helicopter. Now they're able to communicate with them, and he's shocked at this. And <laughs> yeah. he's trying to, they say, don't make a scene. And <laughs> he just lets everyone scene, out. Right? And you can just tell from this scene on what kind of character yeah. he is. Yeah. He is just a fucking idiot, and he does it <laughs> so damn well. Yeah. It's just the, the mom... The girl, all, everyone that is in this mm. family mm-hmm. is just awesome. And yeah. then he's just the idiot. <laughs> he's he's kind of the best great. part of yeah, this. Yeah, he's definitely my great. he's definitely my favorite part of this movie. I like that he's gotten really fat while he's in jail. Yeah, and we yeah. were talking about like, oh my so gosh. if it is the same serum, which mm. it's probably not. Yeah. The serum that Captain America had, he explains in the first movie that uh, his metabolism is super high. So he's not even able to get drunk. So yeah. it's like, how much does he have to eat? How much is he eating in prison? While in or, prison. Or I thought yeah. about it, he probably is like, oh, I'm super strong. I don't need to work out. He's just slowly getting <laughs> more out of shape over time because yeah. he just isn't keeping up with it. That's what happened. That's what happened with me. Yeah. That's what happened? I got overconfident. Now, my metabolism used to be really high in high school. I was 135 pounds, and I was like, it'll last forever. No. And then I, and I started dating women Nothing. and drinking alcohol. And Were like, you not dating women before? Oh, in high school? No, girls didn't talk to me. Uh, I think he totally missed what we were going for there, but that's fine. I got like so sidetracked. I was like, wait yeah. a minute. I, know. Yeah. I got it. I got what we were going All for. Right, yeah. but I was like, no. I'm on the wrestling team. I'm stick thin. I'll be fine. Anyway, so the. And you're younger than me, too. I know. Yeah. I've had a rough life. We both have had rough lives. <laughs> Women ruined oh, your wait, life. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You cheated. You had cancer. That probably made you pretty thin, you cheater. Uh, yeah, I guess it did. But, then, but it's been a while. Wow. <laughs> you were in that your, song your keeps early... getting mentioned on this show. <laughs> you had cancer when you were in your early 20s. 2004, 5, 6, yeah. Well, if I had yeah, it, I probably like would have 20... been a little thinner in my early 20s. But you're still thin at 22, 23. Yeah. No, I know, but I'm just saying. I got like, I looked like one of those kids that like, Sally Struthers wants you to send money so they can give them bags of flour. The biggest yeah, but mistake, it's been how many years since? The biggest mistake was when I lived at Temple University in between a liquor store and a Chinese food place. And uh, that was, you just get into a loop Holy there. shit, they so should have sent you to heaven on I'm that like, Oh yeah. man, yeah. I'm eating so much, I, I, I need to get drunk. Oh, I'm drunk, oh, I need to eat some Chinese food. And it just happened over So was over. it college or girls that? That was both. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mine's, just, mine's just sadness. <laughs> So the helicopter scene is pretty yeah. cool. Black Widow, like, she does her hero pose mm-hmm. and her sister calls her out yes. on it. But I like how they're being hit with, like, a, a torrent or whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yes. the sister just blows up a watchtower. Which and we're, like, then triggers an avalanche. avalanche. Yeah. And that avalanche was awesome. Yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they rescue him. And I like how he's, like, upset that they, uh, like, she like joined the West yeah, uh, in their crusade and stuff <laughs> and how they don't appreciate it. <laughs> and I like that he's like telling them all these things but they can't hear him because they have the, the headsets on. I think the... they were able to hear Later him. on they were, they dropped yeah. that, but before- No, because the... she just hits him. 
Yeah. Because um, he's like, oh, oh, I, I took it as they can hear him, but he's an oh, idiot. Oh, okay. I, I, I like, just oh, thought they like, couldn't hear him. So and I like when he says, on. are you on your time of the month? And they're like, no, we don't have we reproductive don't have uterine, organs. Yeah. They take them all out. And she just goes into it like, no, literally, rip, we don't have uteruses. Yeah. We, don't have, oh, we have nothing <laughs> down there. And then he's there. like, okay, okay, stop. And she's like, good, I was about to get into fallopian tubes. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Um, which means Black Widow's hormones must be out of whack, so she has yeah. to just, like shave all the mm. time. It, I mean, it would actually affect everyone differently, though. I guess so. It would. I've everyone, known people who had mean, that, and they're like, they're like, well, I have to shave now. Oh, I know well, c- quite a few girls that have um, mm. like o- uh, ovarian cancer, and they've actually had to have them either tied or taken out a lot yeah. of things. And yeah, no, I wouldn't, you know. Mm. It nope. sucks. Yeah. At least you don't have kids. Uh, unless you want it done. And, nope. an, and apparently animals are not your children, if you ask Tony. Oh, yeah, animals are not children. They should not be regarded as people. I love my fur babies, my feathered babies, my scaled babies. Like, they're my babies. I prefer animals over humans. I don't love anything. Well, that's you don't terrible. love your cat? She's all right. We yeah. know your cat's just propagand- propaganda. Why does oh, everyone yeah. say that about Rage Shadow Legends the cat? It's not just a prop for social media yeah, cloud. Yeah, that's what Justin <laughs> said. He goes, he doesn't like his cat. It's a clout. Uh, thing I was like, yeah, you're it's right. It's a what? It's a clout thing. It's only. Like it's also to supposed to be. It's also supposed time. to be uh, right. pest control, but he's st- <laughs> the one day he was too fucking fat. The mouse crawled underneath the dresser. And he was he couldn't fit all the way under the dresser because he's so fucking fat. Why are you feeding your cat so much? It wasn't us. He's three years old. He's been spoiled by the previous owners. We're putting him on a fucking diet. Who's the? He du- was twenty something pounds. He's down to like seventeen. Who's the dude who's in all the Adam Sandler movies? He was also on Reno Nine One One. He was the ro- he was the roller skating guy. Oh, uh, the the he was also in Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, he's- um, Tom Lennon. Is that no? It wasn't Tom Lennon. It's the other yeah. guy. T- no. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Nick Swartzen. Nick, Nick Swartzen. Swartzen. Yes. When he, he took his cat to the vet because his cat had unbelievable diarrhea, and the vet was like, "What have you been feeding your cat?" And he goes, "I don't know, diarrhea." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, I do like uh, when he's trying to catch up with them. He's like, "So, did the Captain America ever like talk about me?" Yeah. She's like, no, I don't oh, think Oh, that's he because they're, they're like, we have to go here to St. Petersburg. And she's like, I don't think we're going to make it. And he's like, we'll make it. Oh, yeah. And then at the next <laughs> shot is this perfect comedy shot of just the fucking helicopter falling out of the sky. That's a pretty good cut. That yeah. That's a pretty that good cut. Um,. So oh, yeah, and he's all they're... like, he's all like, why don't you guys appreciate me? I made you guys the best killers ever. Mm-hmm. And it's you like... were the, he's like to the sisters, like, you were the best child assassin ever. <laughs> but yeah, he's like, does Captain America ever talk about me? And he's like, I like to believe that we're locked in this uh, geopolitical mortal combat, you know? <laughs> it's like, no, you never <laughs> ever <laughs> mentioned He me. doesn't know you exist. Yeah. Uh, so Rachel Wise is working with pigs. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she has the world's biggest sniper rifle. Yeah. Yeah. It's like but, three times her body size. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like she's struggling to, like, mm-hmm. carry it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she, you know, they reunite. They're having dinner together. I like he gets in the Red Guardian outfit, but he, like, barely fits. Oh, you just hear him grunting <laughs> in the back. Yeah, they, they have the three, uh, Rachel Weisz, the Pew Pew girl, and Black Widow, and they're sitting at the table, and they're listening. I like how you say Black Widow, and that's the only character name you say. I don't know the other one's names. <laughs> Yolana? Yolana and, and... Was it Melina? Melina, yes. Yeah. Melina. Melina. Like the girl from Mortal Kombat? Yeah, yep. So they hear him st- straining to put the costume on in the other room. This whole scene, though, uh, where they're like, we weren't a real family, they do feel like a family. They're just, yeah. And the entire time, the, the Pew girl is just drinking vodka because her parents are arguing and, and yeah. all this kind of stuff and I thought that was like I felt bad for her because she was like the youngest she's like <laughs> yeah. I don't know it felt like a real family to me yeah I know the so difference. sad yeah and they're all like he was all like oh it was so boring living with these stupid kids yeah but I thought that whole scene the conversation with it was very organic feeling and it really mm-hmm. worked you yeah know? no yeah. it worked really they, well they, yeah. they're all great actors yeah. actually yeah mm-hmm. they did great I love how they're like she starts screaming though, like stop slouching. Yeah, she's like, like we're not we slouching. weren't a real family. We weren't a real family <laughs> at all. Stop slouching. Come yeah. on, put your shoulders back. So I like that Rachel Wise lets her know, like, oh, by the way, your mom didn't just throw you out to be trash. Yeah. Like your real mom. Like she actually you were given as like payment for mm-hmm. something, but then she tried to retrieve you mm-hmm. and uh she died, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Oh, and right before that conversation though, at dinner. Uh, mm. Melinda says about what she actually oh, was working she's on. she's like in charge of like that whole control thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she demonstrates she by demonstrates choking on a the pig. Freaking pig. So what Melinda was working on was 
how to get rid of someone's um, ability to have free will. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. We figured out in Ohio, the lab was S.H.I.E.L.D., but was when Hydra was in yeah. S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. So it was Hydra, because Hydra was always trying to get rid of people's free will. Was that yes. led by Gary Shandling? I don't know. Remember in Iron Man 2, Gary Shandling's a senator, and then he's connected to Hydra? I, I think he was just a cog in the machine. Yeah. Uh, poor Gary Shandling. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no. So Hydra's whole thing is like, we need to remove free will, because they mentioned mm -hmm. this in Winter Soldier, so we won't have resistance to our cause. Yes. And they had this idea, this whole technology and this chemical thing that did it, and then they stole it. So their backup plan was, well, we're going to make three flying hovercrafts. We're just going to shoot a lot of people. And I'm like, oh, yeah. um, okay. <laughs> and they're like, why don't we just do that as plan A? And they're like, no, 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 don't worry about it. You know, like, <laughs> I'm like, how about we just, you know, we probably, we probably have some scientists who yeah. remember how to do some of it, right? Like, I don't think just because they got rid of the one car. <laughs> Let's pause for one second. You all right? Are you peeing? Where are you going? Are you okay? Is he throwing up? Are you throwing up? Do I need to check on him? Something was happening. I noticed his energy was coming down a little bit. I try not to pay attention to him. So how you been, Crystal? I've been okay. Mm. I, I, you know, spending you know past few days with you at VHS Fest. It was a fun time. That VHS was Fest a was a fun. lot of fun. I'm excited for people to see the Fred Olin Ray episode. Oh my god, he was fantastic. He was great. Uh, oh. We had legendary filmmaker come out. Uh, I he's won't spoil new... what episode he's on. It's going to be a surprise. He's your new father figure. He's my new father figure. My best friend. He I hates... kept bringing up. I kept bringing up every movie of his that I loved, and he just coincidentally hated all of them. I'm like, hey man, Bikini Airways really, really touched me. And he's like, why? Like, I, I think he... I mentioned it a third time. He's like, stop bringing that movie up. I'm like, but it was such an important movie to me. But Fred also, like, I love Fred for just hating on you. <laughs> it was fantastic. He picked up that you guys were teasing. Yeah, uh huh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, just yeah. teasing. I did really fuck with him. I was like, hey, I just uh, got my autograph from Linnea Quigley. It was really awesome meeting like a living film legend. Then I just went, oh, hi, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, it's like, what the fuck? Welcome yeah. back, Newt. Yeah, thanks. Let's get back to Black Widow. <laughs> I almost nice. said Black Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, well, oh, I think title. I feel like it's a shiver movie. So, uh, yeah, they, they explained the pig thing. Mm -hmm. And then the mom is like talking to that Natasha. was kind of petrifying. What would happen though? Like thinking someone says, stop breathing and you literally cannot. <laughs> and this is actually when new dies too. Boom. <laughs> but that's petrifying when she just tells the pig, stop breathing. Yeah, like, oh, oh, he, he had 11 seconds. He had 11, 11 seconds, seconds left, left before yeah. it died. Yeah. But I like that she kept the fake photo album. Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, you kept this? And she's like, I really wish these memories were real because they were all like, Stage because when they leave, the boxes, she's, the they, she reaches boxes. for it and they say, Leave it, and but, then she, came yeah, back she clearly when they were kids, yeah. 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 Uh, but then she also tells her, like, By the way, I alerted the red room because she still works for them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, I like then we get a scene with like Florence, she's hearing Red a Guardian's story about how his father peed on him to save him from frostbite. <laughs> He's like, My father went toilet on me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh and uh, she does her whole thing. She's like, I thought you were like the greatest person in the world. Mm -hmm. and you just said I was a burden. And yeah. then they start singing together. Mm -hmm. They sing Bye Bye Miss American Pie. And then, and then the red room comes. And I love when he gets hit with the one this track. He's like, ah, oh, they'll need more. And it's the <laughs> million. <laughs> 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 they think. That was fantastic. Mm -hmm. He is such an, he's just a comic relief in this entire He's thing. good though, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then uh, Yelena is looking all over the room, or all over the house. Right, 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 right. Is. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then she sees Natasha just on the ground. Pass mm -hmm. out, and then And then Melina. you turn around. Melina is in her full black outfit with black makeup on, yeah. like around her yeah, eyes. Put black makeup on. Those are skin tight outfits. It takes a long time for me to get into tight clothing. Maybe that it's like really Spider-Man's outfit. In the new Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man puts on his outfit and it's baggy and he hits a button and it shrink wraps. Yeah. Or maybe it was underneath her outfit. Or but maybe then... it was underneath her outfit. No, cause she was wearing like, like, like me overalls. mechanics yeah. overalls. But it still, I mean, it's really tight. You guys are But then they also, it. how much time? Cause she said, there's only a minute left. And later in the film you realize more is talked about in that one minute. 
Well, maybe, that's a lot maybe of stuff to happen. The, the red room, they like uh, they hit some turbulence on the way there. Yeah. Oh, um, oh, that would make more sense. Now I'm looking okay. at it, like Marty yeah. McFly's jacket in Back to the Future 2. He pushes the thing in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we find out that the red room has their own helicarrier. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Like, oh, that's why no one can find it. In the clouds and it's hidden. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of cool though. Yeah. It was then, actually um, kind of cool. Yeah, Rachel Wise uh, meets with Ray Weinstone mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. his office. Which is awesome. His yeah. office straight up looks like it's still the 80s, like it's still the Cold War there. We kept talking about the VHS tapes that were on his yeah. desk yeah. and stuff like that. Um, but I do love that little that little touch of uh, the the elevator that she's in has wood paneling in it. Mm -hmm. And then you go up to his office and I was like, oh, it's a nice little piece of set design, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I like, he's like, how could this possibly, how could, what is this thing that's wiping out my widows? Mm -hmm. And they're like, uh, we got to figure out a way to counteract the antidote. Yeah. We cut out Florence Pugh's brain yep. and figure out what went wrong. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's part of his plan. Mm -hmm. And the other part of his plan is he wants to um, brainwash Black Widow with this yeah. stuff. So he can have an Avenger on mm -hmm. the inside. Even yeah. She's currently running away from the Avengers. Yeah. But if she can get in with Captain America mm -hmm. and mine mm -hmm. and stuff. Uh, but then he figures out. He sees her eyes. He's like, oh, I, I know people. A father knows his child's eyes. Yeah. And then you realize yeah. that it was Black Widow. Yes. She has the hologram face thing mm -hmm. from Winter Soldier. I think yeah. they used yep. that in. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think they brought it back for Falcon and Winter Soldier. Oh, okay. I think uh, oh, I didn't see that. the one girl uses it at some point. Mm -hmm. I only saw the first few episodes of that. I never got finished. Yeah. Uh, Red Guardian pours his heart out. <gasps> Aww. To what he thinks is Natasha, yeah. but it's actually yeah. Emily. <laughs> oh, did you talk about how earlier then she called him the Crimson Dynamo? Oh, That's right, right. right. So uh, in Iron Man 2, it's not really, they combine the characters of Whiplash and, and Crimson, Crimson Dynamo. Dynamo. Yep. They gave him Crimson Dynamo's like origin and backstory, mm -hmm. but they gave him Whiplash's weapon. Whips. Yeah. There's a second Whiplash in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh. Uh, he doesn't have cool, he just has like regular weapons. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that was a funny thing. He's like, it's not Crimson Dynamo. Yeah. <laughs> <Red> Guardian. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I like when she's like talking to Florence. She's mm -hmm. like, hey, we put a thing in you. Uh, you have a blade have a in blade. your in your you side pocket. Out. Use that. And she cuts herself like, free. Why didn't you and tell then, me this earlier? And Red Guardian's like, I'm so sorry for everything I did. And she's like, no, you you don't have an earpiece. Yeah, so he's just holding it like he does have one. It was pretty good. So they flash back and t they show like how they planned the mm -hmm. whole heist without letting them yeah. know. She hesitates to kill Ray Weinstein mm -hmm. first because she wants to know about her real mom. Yeah. She's like, what happened to my real mom? And she's like, oh, she's buried under a tree and her name uh, it said unknown. Yeah, they buried under like a pink blossom tree or something so, like that. Yeah. What I want to know is... At she's... this point, did they reveal who... No. No, no, no not, not, not yet. yet. That's okay. in this scene, though. But it is in the scene. But what I want to know is, is she actually upset for real? Or is that her? Because she does that in another Avengers movie where she pretends to get with upset. Loki. With Loki. With yeah. Loki. But that's fake because she's a really good actor as a yeah. secret agent. Mm -hmm. It might be a little bit of both. And I'm curious be because my whole thing is there's been multiple times where the, the girls cry. And mm. if you're in front of someone that you hate so much... For female, it's like you never let them see you cry. And that's you what I- You never let them see a weakness. So I want to think I don't this know, is her playing it. who hated me cry their eyes yeah. all the goddamn time. So I, <laughs> I, it pissed me off to see her getting upset and I was like, please tell but me But I was wondering her. if that was part of it too because he even know. says, he even says thank you because he got to see that she's still human underneath. She's not as cold and he gets off on that it almost mm. seems like. But then she does do the whole thank you for your cooperation, which yeah. she said to Loki. Le yeah. After, well, it's just another RoboCop thing because uh, she can't kill him because of what's built into her. Right, right. So his pheromones trigger some, like a residual that bit was of. was weird Yeah, to me. Well, but it was I'm interesting. Gonna, I it thought was, it was it, interesting. It was definitely interesting, yeah, it's, but uh, it's still like, I was like, really? Yeah, it triggers like a reaction where they can't, mm -hmm. she can't cause harm to him. Yeah. Uh, we, f we find out a way around that, which is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. And I think this is when he reveals Taskmaster, yes. right? Yes. A cool guy, Taskmaster. Yeah, and what did that cool guy, Tony, what did, what happened there? <sighs> well, even though in the flashback, mm -hmm. the daughter of the bad guy is clearly like five, six, like younger. She's school, a school girl age. School girl yeah, age, yeah. and Black Widow was like teens. Yeah. Taskmaster turns out to be played by Olga Kurlenko. Which I asked you who that was when we saw it. 
She's in Seven Psychopaths, yeah. uh, Quantum of Solace, Quantum. Mm-hmm. Man, a bunch of other movies. She's forty. She's forty one. Looks great for forty one. Oh, yeah. I fucking shit. well. Besides I, I'm face. a fan of Olga Kurlenko. I really like her. Mm-hmm. But she is way older. Like not way older, but like what's it called Scarlett Chance is like thirty six. And if it's like that that it age doesn't, doesn't work out. I mean, no. I guess you put the burn makeup on yeah. and have it in the suit. But it still doesn't really work. Tell. Uh, but yeah, so they they changed Taskmaster. Despite the fact that all the fight scenes, it was clearly a stuntman. It was clearly it was like we were yeah. talking about the movie Urban Legend yeah. that Jared Leto forgets he was in, where like the spoiler, uh, the killer is like Mar- Marissa Rebecca Gayhart? Gayhart, Rebecca Gayhart, yeah, who killed a person in real life yes. with distracted driving. She used to what? be she used to be in the uh, the Noxzema ads where yep. she's splashing water on her face. Yes, but yeah. she actually I did not. Yeah, she was texting her driving or drinking her driving. Yeah. I think she killed a guy. I forget. She's responsible for someone's death. Uh, but in that movie, like, the killer is clearly, like, a big stuntman. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, I've been the killer the whole time. Like, no, you haven't. That's like the body types when they do the other switch. I'm like, I don't know. There's a pretty significant body difference between Scarlett Johansson and, and Rachel Weisz, you know? Yeah. 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 Uh, so, yeah, they... They made Taskmaster just a mindless... Mute robot killing, mute killing yeah. machine like they did with Bane in 98. Did we mention yeah. that in this version already? But no. The previous version. I don't remember what we talked about anymore. Yeah, so they made it like Bane in 98 or Deadpool in X-Men mm-hmm. Origins. Yeah. Like, but like it, it's weird because because I don't really care. But like it's weird because like the MCU was built off of like, hey, wow, well, like these characters actually look like the ones from the comics. Yeah. They resemble yeah. the comics. Abomination didn't. Mm-hmm. But like well, well, now that. he does. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and now they did the whole, like, the switch, but they've done it so much recently. Like, Loki, I think, turned a male character into a woman. Flag Smasher is now a woman. Captain Marvel, the original Marvel. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They made her a woman, even though they already had a female. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, were you doing it all the time now? And it's like, it'd be more, I would be more shocked if that did turn out to be a dude. <laughs> yeah. It made sense for the story. It just it didn't need to be it, Taskmaster. It did. That's, that's the weird thing. Yeah, it's Especially, a random character that they made. Into it's a it. bigger. It's like a bigger. It's a weirder issue now because I told you the the new Avengers game, which sucks. Uh, they made him a big part of that game, and then the Spider Man game, which was awesome. Which yeah, millions of people played. A lot, a lot of people. That was probably their first experience the interaction to the character, Taskmaster. Like they've been pushing him and all this stuff. And then it leads up to the movie, and they completely rewrite everything about him, and then get rid of his personality, and also yeah. make him older. Yeah, you need it. it was weird. Yeah, you needed a character that's from the comics. Like what? What but, like, character would that could that have been though? In your opinion, if you could change that character instead of Taskmaster, who would have been a good fit as a daughter revenge kind of person? I don't really read comics. That much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know nothing about. They already did Lady oh. Hydra in yeah. Agents of Shield. Oh no, yeah. Agent Carter. Yeah. She was like in the forties, but you could have done another one. Or no, Lady Lady Hydra was Agents of Shield. She was yeah. a robot. I don't. Madame Mask there's... was Agent Carter. There, there were enough people you could have. But gotten. do you think that there's a? Because you're talking about a lot of characters turning from male to female. This one does need to be obviously a female because it was the daughter that you saw. Yeah. And it's all no, the No, story wise, I'm fine with it. What, it's just yeah. weird that they picked that character yeah. for it. But who else would it. Well, it has to be Russian, too. No. Yeah. I don't know. I, I would also, have to but read. But Taskmaster is not Russian. Taskmaster is from the Bronx. From the Bronx. Oh, I know, I know. Tony. But the... Oh, and they made her name Antonia. That was I'm funny. I'm like, God that damn it. Because they also did that. Um, in uh, Flag Smasher in the comics is Carl mm-hmm. something, and the new one Carla. it's Carly. Oh, yeah. Carly. I Carly. I Carly, yes. Uh, so, like like I said, I don't really care. No, I knew. Uh, but, huh? I knew. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't really care, but it, it, it's just a weird choice on their part. I don't think the movie needed it. No. No. Like, like if it was any other character, like, I'm fine with it being a female character. It's just weird, especially yeah. after pushing this character and everything else. One of my favorite things is Ultimate Spider-Man, the cartoon, where Taskmaster pretends to be Peter Parker's gym teacher. To get more so information. Can, yeah. Yep, yep. But, like, I'm used to him talking and being mm. cocky and stuff. Yeah. I'm not used to him being quiet robot, man. And having it's, his cool skull mask. And, yeah, it yeah. feels yeah. it feels like Deadpool and Bane again. Yeah. Where it's like, why did you do this? Like, this... Just and as control. underwritten as like Ghost and Ant Man and the Wasp too, where it was just like, eh, that character didn't need to be in there. That didn't mind. Like that's another character they changed. Yeah. But like it didn't really bother me. At least it was. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know that character that well. So maybe that's why I wasn't too bothered. By yeah. It. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
So yeah, the, the, she I finds like... out she's all burnt and stuff. Because mm. we forgot to mention, the reason she's like that is uh, Black Widow went to kill him. He, she knew she was in there, and she let them strike it anyway yeah. as collateral mm -hmm. damage, mm -hmm. starring yeah. starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, we did that. Watch that review. <laughs> Uh, so that's a whole sad story. Um, yeah, it just this entire scene kind of has like random sad stories yeah. in it because I really do like how he pulls all the girls up on the map. Yeah, and says they were thrown out girls, they were trash, and I recycled them. Yeah, I was like, that's kind of cool. Are the men it? also brainwashed? We're gonna get to I that. I want to know bit. that. I want to know about the men in this organization because sure something so happens in a few minutes where I'm like, wait, what? Well, after yeah. the Fast and the Furious guys busted up that that Russian or Ger it was German. Mm. Oh, I was like, oh, the, all those guys went to go get new jobs, so they went to go work for Ray <laughs> Winstone. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, yeah, he shows her the network, and it's like, I control it with this, mm -hmm. and you find out, like, she was looking for that, and there, he punched her in the face, like, three times. Mm -hmm. She also, oh, he also, uh, sent Taskmaster away at this point. Yeah, yeah. You to, to kill, kill the yeah, other to ones, kill, yeah. I think there's, uh, there's a few rats in the basement, mm -hmm. go, go take yeah. care of them. And she's like, you just got rid of the one person who can save you. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I like, like that he fun. punched her three times square in the face. I love that. And then they flash back, they're like, yeah, there's a nerve here that if you, if it <clears throat> gets damaged, It'll help you counteract the pheromones, yeah. but he didn't do a good enough job, so she headbutts the Smashes table, the table, yeah. And she's able to, like, counteract it. Yes. <laughs> uh, but a bunch of black widows come in. Yeah. And they do the action movie cliche of just not ganging up on her at once. <laughs> nope, he goes, uh, take care of her, make sure she suffers, and he just walks right on out. Yeah, right, right. Like, but he's missing something. He's missing his ring that yeah. connects to the computer. It. Nope. What's, uh, a more, what's a weaker everybody attack uh, separately? Blade 2 or uh, The Last Jedi? Where everyone waits until it's their turn to get beaten up? I'd have to watch both again. Yeah, I remember because Blade 2 had that scene that it was like set to like calling all freaks. <laughs> and it was like each guy comes at him one at a time and you're like, what? If every, or how about, I don't know. Shooter. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. You guys Imagine are not yeah. trained to like. You guys, like assassins and stuff, they're but not meant for hand to hand. They're imagine meant to, like, if just like kill imagine quick if, and get away. You know how like uh, Friday Thirteen Part Three? What if instead of a, a goalie mask, Jason found Shelly's handgun and it just. <laughs> <laughs> Every movie is seven minutes long. He does say to make her suffer mm. though. Yeah. So that's the only I thing guess, I can think I guess. I guess. Yeah. Mm. But I, I like that her sister saves her by shooting the antidote that yeah. sprays yeah, that over was, all of them. Because at the end, they were going to make her, like, they mm. all took turns, like, basically yeah. punching her to death, based what they're trying to do. Because they uh, eventually do all gang up, pull her down, and then. Yeah. But then she gets freed, and I like that. I uh, love that They're scene. like, what do we do now? They're like, just get out of here. And yeah. Free, yeah, do whatever you go want. as far as the away from the But I like, she, like, possible. free, she, like, disables all the control. Like, they still mm. need the antidote all yeah. over the world, but no one will control them now. Mm. And now but she like, while that's happening, she's readjusting her nose. Oh, <laughs> but she God. downloads all the other ones so she can find all the other yeah, ones around the world, yeah. too. Yeah. Yes. So he gets on a plane. Uh, the the other ones get on a plane because uh, Rachel Wise couldn't disable the thing. So mm. they're like, uh, I blew it all up. We're on a controlled fall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She just walks by very casually. And yeah, said everything's that, falling. Which I thought was a really but, like, good. Her, her and Red Guardian, uh, he he fought Taskmaster mm. for a little bit. Yeah, got his ass kicked. kicked. I think they get in a jet, and as they're flying they away, the men who work for the Red Room are skydiving, shooting at them. I'm like, wow, what? They have to also be mind controlled, right? Why else would they be they doing just, this? Just get away. They just they, really love the job that they yeah. have. They take pride <laughs> in it. Uh, and actually, while he was fighting them, they tricked Taskmaster into the prison. Mm -hmm. uh, and conveniently, Scarlet Johansson just falls in front of the yeah. prison. And they do the whole, I know you're still in there, cliche. I'm going to let you out, and you're going to want to fight me, but I know that you're Which she already did that. to Hawkeye in the yeah. first Avengers, and what Captain America did to Winter mm -hmm. Soldier. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, like, I like that it wouldn't have worked. Taskmaster was going to kill her until an explosion like yeah. separated them. But she does it to the Hulk, too. She does that like calm down thing. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. Uh, but she just does feel so guilty because she throughout the entire movie she says about how guilty she mm -hmm. is. Yeah. So I don't, even if, you know, Taskmaster doesn't show any kind of anything in there she yeah. still feels as if she did something yeah, yeah. and i like florence pew kills ray wine so never but like the it whole thing great. is she's like this would be a cool way to die this yeah. would be a cool way to throughout die throughout the entire movie and then she's like don't do it she's like it'd be cool and she's like, blows she's like old man up. bruce wayne in uh dark knight returns yes. where he's yes. like this would be a good death you know <laughs> she just doesn't care she knows she's gonna die eventually she, she just jammed, wants it to be cool she takes like that fighting stick thing they yeah. have and she's like 
Uh, she's like, yeah. it's been fun, and just slams the thing in and blows it up. Uh, but then, uh, what you call it? Black Widow saves her, By gives jumping, her a parachute. And they're falling, and not, at no point do any of them hit any of the debris, no. get impaled. No, 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 Mr. Man of Steel fan, Lois Lane doesn't hit a goddamn thing while everything's being sucked up in the hole, except for her. She doesn't hit a truck or a piece of debris or anything. All right, well, Lois Lane's not wearing uh, earrings. How come all of their earrings stay on I so I said perfectly? that at the end. I was like, how have all of her earrings not been ripped out? How? If this was a real girl fight, she would have been like, hey, hold my earrings. Mm -hmm. Well, they wouldn't be wearing earrings. That <laughs> hurt. Have not, you, neither of you have your ears pierced. No. My penis is pierced. But, oh, gotcha. Yeah. Well, if I ripped that out, that would hurt. Getting your earring no, ripped out, that's... even having a belly button ring, if that's jammed, that shit hurts. There's no way all their earrings would stay in. I want to say something terrible right now, but I'm not going. Don't to. say anything. No, go ahead, keep going. Anyway, uh, yeah. So they land. She fights the Taskmaster mm -hmm. and is able to hit her with the thing. Yeah. And I like that she's just like, okay, now she's like, is my dad dead? And I'm like, yeah. Oh, thank God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't really say that, but that's uh -huh. kind of what it is. Yeah. Everyone's pretty much happy. The widows come, mm -hmm. and they're gonna like hang out with Florence Pugh yeah. and Taskmaster and Melina now. Uh, and I didn't realize that Florence gives Black Widow the vest, and it's the wearing, best yeah. she wears mm -hmm. in That's the next cool. in the yeah. Avenger I movies. Like that. I do like the Rachel Vice is like I'm pretty injured. Like you know, <laughs> <laughs> how are you? I'm pretty, I'm pretty injured. yeah. Um, yeah, so that was a nice little ending. Mm -hmm. Her like boyfriend guy gets her a Quinjet, which is the one they use in, in Infinity yep, War. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which I like. So it, it, it's a night. Nice, you know what it feels like? It feels like when you're reading an event comic. Yeah, and it fills in the gaps. And it fills in the gap, but it's not an annoying one. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, oh wait, where did, when you're reading the main story, you're like, where'd this character come from? It's like, oh, you had to read in the several tie-ins. Like, well, did you ever I'm read? Buying all did of you those. ever yes. read Chasing Dogma? No. Kevin Smith wrote a graphic novel that takes place in the time between them leaving uh, the mall with Suzanne, the the, the orangutan, yeah. and them showing up in the the diner and dog or at the abortion clinic in yeah. Dogma, mm -hmm. and it just fills in that gap there, really, where they're gonna go to Shermer, Illinois, but Shermer, Illinois doesn't exist, yeah. and then he took most of that comic and just made that. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Like half of that comic is yeah. just that script, but just taking out all the in-between stuff. Huh. Yeah, I mean it, it's funny, but yeah, like there were annoying comics that did that. Mm -hmm. where it's like I stopped trying to get me to buy ten thousand yeah. comics. Yeah. Yep. But this does feel like a fun one, where it's mm -hmm. like you don't need it. Yeah. But if you read it, I'm like, oh, that was fun. It tied in that. There's, mm -hmm. Like I said, the origin of the vest wasn't annoying. No. It's like, oh, okay. That it's not like best. Solo where. Everything oh. that you know about that character happened in one week. Yeah. And he's like Al Bundy who talks about scoring four touchdowns in one game at Polk High. Yeah. He just keeps yes. talking about it. And that's uh, Han Solo's whole thing is just, <laughs> yeah, all these things happened in one week, you know, and that's my whole that's my whole personality yeah. is built on and that. And it gives them a reason to not be in Infinity War. Yeah. Because they're going to replicate the antidote, hunt down all the mm -hmm. widows. And then the, this her continuation of the story works with the post credit scene as well. It does. Which nice, yeah. Yes, the post-credit sequence yes. is uh, Natasha's grave. And which... where, but also um, before that, when she gets the Quinjet, it kind of pans over, and there's all the fireflies, and there's a tree with pink blossoms on which it, which might well, be where her mother, where her is. mom was buried. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the post-credit sequence, uh, Elena uh, meets Elaine from Seinfeld. Elena meets Elaine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Julie Louis Dreyfus, this was supposed to be the introduction to her character, but mm -hmm. the movie took too long, so she ended up being in Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah. And she's kind of setting up the Dark Avengers. Mm -hmm. yeah. With U.S. But, but unbeknownst to them. Yeah. Like, she recruits U.S. Agent in that show. U.S. And Agent. She, Who's I'm, Who am I thinking of? Huh? Uh, whatever. There's another. Nomad is the character I'm thinking of. Nomad was Captain America's character. I know it was. Character. Yeah, I yeah, was yeah. thinking about that. No, no. U.S. Agent's the other guy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so then she recruits. It's Kurt Russell's son. Yes, Kurt yeah. Russell's son. She recruits uh, Elena Florence. Um, but like, she's like, oh, here's the person who killed your sister, and it's mm -hmm. Hawkeye. Yeah. 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 I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty I do. Cool. And we kept doing every time Elena and. and Black Widow. Every time they would like call each other, they would whistle. Oh so right! We just kept going like this. Yeah, they did the whistle. Like in Mac, the and me. Mac and me whistle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I had a really fun time with the movie. Yeah, I didn't think I was yeah. going to. It's not I like, like it's it's not. Calm down, internet. It's not super woke. And no, it's not. It really is. I guess. Uh, oh, the evil man had control over women and power. Like I guess, but I wasn't... it's. But I didn't like. 
if that was what they were doing, mm. it didn't like distract me. No, it um, was... I was still invested in the story. Yeah. It wasn't like it didn't take me out of the movie. It was mm. more like underneath. It wasn't right in your face. Yeah, like it was that subtle. Was. Subtext. subtext. Exactly. Remember subtext? Yeah, That's exactly. You're not allowed to have subtext anymore. If that was a subtext, that was a great way to put it yeah. in. But as far, it wasn't yeah, as it, far as like the standalone right. movies that don't have to be wrapped up in all of the other stuff setting yeah. up all the other movies I, I would definitely put this in the top ones I, I think yeah, this is no, a this, nice standalone I like, like I said it. I yeah. wish it came out before Captain Marvel yeah. we'd have care. a lot less ang angry geeks mm -hmm. a lot no, less angry fucking, no we'd always have angry geeks they're gonna but. be mad about everything <laughs> fucking gatekeepers I've grown up my entire life reading comic books I love this shit well, well I did it some gatekeepers are needed because there's some people that want to go in communities and oh. just change everything. Okay, but people are getting mad about, like, nobody fucking cared about Taskmaster. Nobody cared. Oh, no. Like, people get mad about shit, and I'm like, you didn't care about that. Like I said, I didn't care. I just thought it was a weird choice because of yeah. everything else they were doing with yeah, the yeah. character. I'm like, why would they No, but I'm just saying, like, that? in general, like, people get mad about stuff just so they have something to be mad about. It's like, it's the line in the Goo Goo Dolls song, you bleed just to know you're alive kind of thing, you know? <laughs> We get it. You love City of Angels starring Nicolas Cage. I do really like that movie. Dennis Franz's <laughs> ass. That is a good As point. we've said on many occasions, Nicolas Cage is my favorite actor of all time. He's pretty good. He's pretty great. And you know what? I want his Ghost Rider to be canon. In the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show, there was a Ghost Rider, but it's the new Ghost it's Rider the with race, the sports yeah. car. Yeah. But they showed the flashback to mm -hmm. a previous Ghost Rider on a motorcycle yeah. giving him his powers, but it was the skull and everything. I love And it. in my heart of hearts, I want to think it's still Nicolas Cage. I yes. want it to be the Cosmic Ghost Rider. <laughs> when it was Frank Castle as the Ghost Rider. Oh, and yeah. he had the Thanos baby, and his flaming skull was inside like a 50s dome yeah. helmet. It's pretty <laughs> awesome. I think we talked about that on another episode. Yeah. So yeah, Black Widow is fine. Yeah. It's stunning and brave. It is. It's fine. Mm -hmm. I really, it's really enjoyed it. I've liked, and brave. I've liked the character for a long time. I'm yeah. glad she got her own movie. I'm glad it's a good movie. And I, oh, we forgot to mention this time as well. David Bowie's wife in the 70s oh, tried yeah. to do something with Black Widow and Daredevil, and they took a promotional photo, and we'll put it somewhere, because yeah. I'm like, that's super cool and weird. Did you see Red Sparrow? No, I that heard was, it. was like, uh, fucking, um, what's the girl's Job. name? Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence, yeah. and it was like about like Russian secret agents, sleeper agents, and she's all naked and stuff like that. But when I worked at the movie theater, this dude got really mad because he brought his son to see it because he thought it was one of the, the Hunger Games. No, oh. the Hunger Games movies. <gasps> and next thing you know, like no. she's all naked and stuff like that. And this guy got mad at me, and he's like, "Well, you didn't have the poster anywhere or anything." But as he was saying it to me, I was standing directly next to the poster, and I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're right. I'll give you your money back. I'm just like, <laughs> there was like a lady who came into like Secret Life of Pets too and got mad at me because she didn't know it was animated. What? Well, did wow, she think she are... saw Secret Life of Pets one? She did. <laughs> yeah. Wow. How was that your fault? Every, anyway, everything is my fault. Too. They Thank you. They want to do a uh, Daredevil and um, he I read might, somewhere he they might want to do a Daredevil Black Widow mashup. He might well, be in Spider Man. He is. They, they're thinking. I think they said Charlie Cox is going to be because now That's they can use him. The do. non -comp the non compete has uh, expired, mm. so the Netflix shows are now allowed to show up. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. He should definitely be in I it. Think that would be I great... want someone to do a version. I want like a Robert Rodriguez to do Electra Lives Again, but done in this to make it look like the comic. That like how he did Sin City. Cool. That would be really cool. Oh, I cool. love yeah. the style of Sin City. Mm -hmm. Love it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, yes. Remember, if you want to send us something to s get signed and sent back, please include return shipping so mm -hmm. we stop getting yelled at and we can afford better outfits. Yeah. Uh, call our phone line for the people listening to the podcast feed. Mm -hmm. They're about to hear us listen to some voicemails. Yes. Uh, video version. If you want the video version of it, uh, sign up on Patreon mm -hmm. where you just get just the voicemail segment with the video. Yeah. Uh, podcast just gets the audio. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, check out that merch store and everything else. Yeah. And have, have a great day. Have a super fantastic day, guys. You have True the best believers. Day you can. True believe. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talk, talking, talking about tapes.